Are you using a treadmill as part of your marathon training? If you're not, I highly recommend that you start. Whether that's utilizing a treadmill at the rec center or using yours at home that's maybe collecting dust or getting one in your home so that you can start using it in marathon training. In this video, I'm gonna give you six of my favorite ways that I use the treadmill in marathon training coming up. All right guys, love it or hate it, the treadmill is a pretty essential piece of equipment for most people in marathon training. At one time or another, it usually comes way in handy, even if it's not your preferred preferred form of running, which I don't think it is most people's. I would much rather be outside. Most of the time you'll see me running outside, but it definitely has its place and I'm always really, really thankful to have a treadmill. All right, so let's get into my top six ways I love to use the treadmill in marathon training, starting with number one for those easy running days. So I have a video, I want you guys to check it out. Um, it's all about easy running 80% of your mileage. Yes, you should be running 80% of your miles at an easy pace, and I talk about all about why that's so important, and the treadmill is great for getting in those easy miles. I literally just hit 6.0, do those 10 minute miles that I know are great for me personally to be at that easy pace. Everybody's is different. That's a great zone. And then I don't have to think about it when I'm outside. I don't have to worry about going too fast. And on top of that, I get to catch up on my favorite shows. And most of the time as a busy mom and getting in a lot of running miles, I don't find a lot of time to be able to watch those shows. So it's the perfect time to catch up on them, not feel guilty about it. Or if you like watching podcasts, this is another great time to just pop on your headphones, listen, or watch that favorite show, run those easy miles, and check them off the list. All right, number two is hill work. Um, the treadmill is great if you live in a flat area. I don't actually have that problem, I live in a pretty hilly area, but if you lo live somewhere where you're lacking hills, maybe you're in plains of Texas or the Midwest or something like that, Having a treadmill allows you to get in that hill work that you need. Most treadmills go up to 12, 15%, which is more than enough. Um, as long as you can get up to that kind of six, 7% range on the treadmill, you will have everything you need for hills. A hill work that I really like is just, you know, changing it, doing kind of a progression, bumping it up each half mile or mile. Maybe you're at half a mile, you're at 1.0, and then at one mile, you're bumping it up to 2.0. And you don't need to go crazy on the hills, even just adding in, you know, up to that 5% or so is going to work wonders on your cardiovascular system, using different muscles in your legs, and you know, the harder you train on those, those hills, the easier the marathon's gonna be. And chances are you're gonna have some hills in those marathons that you're gonna have to tackle as well. Hill training, you've heard this, I'm sure Frank Shorter said, hills are speed work in disguise, and absolutely, that is definitely true. You need to get your hill work in. Treadmill is perfect for it. All right, number three, how often have you guys had something come up where you're not able to get your run in? Um, the reasons are endless, really. Things that come to mind for me is a sick kiddo at home, uh, maybe having your kids home in quarantine for months on end. Hmm, when would that have happened? Um, maybe you get stuck at work um, later than you had planned on and then it's dark outside when you leave and you think you're not gonna be able to get the, the run in. That's where the treadmill comes to the rescue. Or, hey, if there's icy roads outside, that is definitely a time you should not be running outside. Now, I have a couple cold weather videos where I say, get out of bed, go out there, it's cold, dress appropriately, follow these tips, and you can do that cold weather run, no problem. But ice on the ground is a different story and that can be dangerous. So instead of saying, oh, can't do my run today, it's icy outside, if you have your treadmill, then you can get your, your run done on your treadmill. So absolutely, it comes in clutch for that. Number four, it's great to mix up your surfaces. So the majority of the time, we're probably running on those unforgiving surfaces like asphalt or even worse, cement. And so it's great even if once a week you can get on the treadmill and run on a different type of surface. Um, it uses different muscles. In fact, you run a little bit differently on the treadmill usually. And so using those muscles a little bit differently, giving some of your joints and legs a break from those hard surfaces is great. So that's another way that I like to use it. And 
yeah, so even just once a week for that is great. Number five, it's great for getting used to your consistent pacing that you need in your marathon. So you're gonna have your marathon goal pace that you've you know, figured out or whatever it is that you think that you wanna run. It's great for just pressing the button, getting that marathon pace down so that you can understand what that feels like when you move outside. Because it's much different outside to know if you're running at the right pace. You keep looking at your watch and you're readjusting, going a little faster, going a little slower, and you keep having to change it up because your body's not quite used to that pace. So let's say you need a nine minute mile, that's your marathon goal pace, jump on the treadmill, press 6.7, and do your marathon pace miles throughout at that 6.7. And if you're you know, doing that once in a while, your body is getting used to feeling what marathon pace feels like in your body and as you're running so that it makes it easier to start doing that outside without having to look at your watch. All right, and the last one, it is a great option for that warm up and cool down phase. So in my cold weather running tip video that I recommend that you check out, I talk about how using the treadmill to warm up for even a mile can be really helpful. So when your body is cold um, and you're trying to go outside in that frigid air, it can be a lot more uncomfortable. So if you can get your body warmed up, get your metabolism going before you go outside, it will be less miserable, okay? So even if it's just a mile, and maybe it's even dark outside on that cold weather running day, or that's another way to use it, honestly, just for the warm up. If it's dark and then it's gonna get light, but you need to get your run started, get on that treadmill for even a mile, your body's warmed up, now it's light outside, and then you can go for your, the rest of your run outside. So I can't recommend enough, you guys, utilizing the treadmill in marathon training, having it as a backup option, even if you don't really like it. Especially on those easy days, I think you'll find that you don't hate it so much. It's different than you know having to do a bunch of speed work on it, which can be difficult, which I definitely recommend doing your speed work outside if at all possible. And if you can turn on that show that you love or listen to that podcast that you love, running those easy miles, then it's great to get it in and then you can check it off the list and say to yourself that you did it and there were no excuses. All right, guys, if you like this video, I would love for you to give me a like below. Keep watching as I'll have these videos for you every week, bringing you the tips that can help you reach your running potential. I'll talk to you guys soon.